Well, I notice this 04 Mustangs when I go to turn it from side to side. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'll go ahead and turn it. And this side I already did, and it is pretty stiff. I'm going to put a used rack in, and I've got one that had some grease fittings on it. See what happens is the uh, rubber goes, and then it gets dirt in here, and then these wear. And there's no way to lubricate them when they're factory. So the aftermarket ones are able to be lubricated and as you put the grease in it forces, even if the boot is broken, forces the grease up and out and flushes, so to speak, the impurities out of the joint itself. So it's good again, but you got to do it pretty regularly because if you got a cracked boot, more dirt's going to get in there and it'll work itself down in there again. But there's no way to grease these factory ones. I'm going to go to the other side and show you how I took this um, loose, what I used. I first need to remove this cotter pin. They can fight you a little bit. A pair of cutters will pull it right out and sometimes you just have to cut them off. Okay, next I want to put an 18 millimeter wrench on this and take that, uh, take that castle nut off the top. I think it's on at about 30 some foot pounds. It's not very tight. I'm not going to take it all the way off. I've got a ball joint separation tool here I put on. It just slides over the boot and then over the top of that, that nut there. That's what I used on the other side. The object is, is to tighten this nut up enough to where you hear a pop. And if you hear a pop, you know the ball joint has come loose. Okay, that's what happens when it comes loose. Now the ball joint is loose, and all I gotta do is take that nut off. And drop it down. This ball joint is much freer than the other one. The other one really had a stiff point in it, but you can see the little boot's gone and the holes in this one. Like I said though, you can't grease them so they just wear out faster. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide on under and probably right up through here. I'm going to put a wrench on that uh, steering linkage. Okay, this is a 13 millimeter bolt. Okay, before I take the lines loose up there, which I can't get to real well, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this bolt nut off here, which is, I'm using an 18 millimeter, but uh, 13, an 11 16th socket actually fits it much better, but it's not on there extremely tight, so this will work. And I put some lubrication on it, so what I want to do is take this one loose, that one down there, and then I'm going to see if I can't uh, maybe slide this forward because it is in bushings and see how much give I got up here to and uh, room I got up here to see if I can get to those lines. Of course, this one wants to spin. And save the washers. I'm 
Well, that bolt's just nice and loose. So what I'm going to have to do is put some lubrication on that bolt and I'm going to have to probably twist it out and uh, make it easier than banging on it like that. So I drove the bolt back a little ways and, and maybe get the other side, drop it down and maybe I can get to those fittings there without bending them, I don't know. I broke these two nuts loose with an 18 millimeter, and I will tell you, it was not fun because they're on there a little tight. And once these are loose, I want to put something over them to keep the wonderful Arizona dust out of them. It looks like my uh, plastic washer is coming out okay in this, though. I'm trying to do them both equally a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take these loose and get this rack out of here. This is about 15 more million pulls on the wrench and I'll have it. It is loose. I'm going to have to get some more plastic washers for sure. Okay, I don't know how much that's going to drain, but I'm just going to let it drain for a little bit. So this inner tie rod end boot is gone. You can see that. There's the, the ball. But I do believe it's functioning still pretty well. The outer tie rod end ball is just frozen up pretty good. You can move it if you really try hard, or I can. Um, this boot over here, same story. I don't know how much longer this would have held up, but like I said, it was working. Uh, this outer tie rod end, still flexible, but not greasable. So I've got another rack and pinion uh, steering gear assembly of this whole thing here. And it's used, but I believe it's probably a little more flexible or in better shape. I don't know yet. I'll have to take a look at it. Okay, this greasy one is uh, the rack from the wrecking yard. And I'm not going to set the uh, tie rod ends to the same measurement as the uh, original ones over here, out right of the Mustang here. Um, I'm going to put it in to see if it gets the clunking done, and then these uh, tie rod ends here, the rubber boot is gone, but I'm going to try and get by with that if I can. Uh, these boots are still good on both ends, as opposed to the original one of the car here, which is much cleaner looking than this one from the wrecking yard. So, we'll see what happens when I put this one in. If you heat them up in the sun a little bit, they will go on a little easier. Okay, it's almost impossible to tighten these things up with the uh, these lines up with the uh, rack up position where it's supposed to be. So what I did is I put a pair of vice grips on the end of the frame here to extend it out a little bit to give myself a resting spot for the rack, and then I was able to rest the rack on top of the vice grips, and I was able to get an 18 millimeter wrench on the nuts there to screw them into that aluminum uh, housing of the uh, steering gear and I tightened them down really snug anyway 35 foot pounds is not very much yeah, there's one Six point sockets are fun sometimes. And there's two. So I'm going to hook up, uh, just place the tie rod in. I'm not going to tighten it down. I'm just going to place it in there in each side, and that way I could go under there and hook up the uh, steering. Uh, intermediate shaft there linkage to the steering column and make sure that the wheel is straight. A 19 fits these but I think a three-quarter fits them better. Okay now I've got to grease both sides a little bit and I will be replacing these later on. I just want to see if I can stop the noise in the steering. 
and uh, add a little fluid to the reservoir and give her a test. Might hear a little growling, but that's the power steering. I think it was the uh, outer tie rod end on the driver's side. I am a happy camper. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Till the next video. Ding, ding, ding. I'm not hooking the seatbelt up. Cars, Trucks, Detours, a.k.a. Steve AZ 711 Hope all your repairs go well, and bye for now.